This is part 7 of ASP.NET Core tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to process hosting in ASP.NET Core. This is continuation to our previous video in which we discussed in-process hosting. To configure in-process hosting within our ASP.NET Core project file, we include this element ASP.NET Core hosting model and set its value to in-process. So, with in-process hosting in place, we have our ASP.NET Core application hosted inside the IIS worker process, which is w3wp.exe. At the moment, we are running our ASP.NET Core application directly from Visual Studio. And we know by default, Visual Studio uses IIS Express to host and run our application. So, in this case, the process that's hosting and running our ASP.NET Core application is IISexpress.exe. We'll discuss deploying an ASP.NET Core application to IIS instead of using IIS Express in our upcoming videos. With in-process hosting, there's only one web server and that one web server is this IIS server which faces the network including the internet to handle and process the incoming HTTP client requests. From a performance standpoint, in-process hosting is better than out-of-process hosting. More on this performance aspect in just a bit. To configure out-of-process hosting, there are two options. One option is to set the value of this ASP.NET Core hosting model element to out of process. The other option is to remove this ASP.NET Core hosting model element altogether from the project file. The default is out of process hosting. So if this ASP.NET Core hosting model element is not present within the project file, then by default it uses out of process hosting. With out of process hosting, there are two web servers an internal web server and an external web server. The internal web server is Kestrel and the external web server can be IIS, Nginx or Apache. Depending on how you are running your ASP.NET Core application, the external web server may or may not be used. We discussed Kestrel in detail in our previous video. As we already know, Kestrel is a cross-platform web server that is embedded in our ASP.NET Core application. With out of process hosting model, Kestrel can be used in one of the following two ways. Kestrel can be used as the internet facing web server that process the incoming HTTP requests directly. In this model, we are not using an external web server. Only Kestrel is used and it is this server that faces the internet to directly handle the incoming HTTP request. So when we run our ASP.NET Core application using the .NET Core CLI, Kestrel is the only web server that is used to handle and process the incoming HTTP request. So in this model of hosting, the process that's hosting and running our ASP.NET Core application is .NET.exe. At the moment, we have configured our application to use out of process hosting. So let's save these changes and then flip over to command prompt and run our project using the .NET Core CLI. The command is .NET run. There we go. We have our application up and running and it's listening for incoming HTTP requests at localhost 5000. So let's launch a browser window and navigate to localhost 5000. Notice the name of the process that is hosting and running our ASP.NET Core application is .NET and we are getting this output because within startup.cs we included the code required to get the process name and here is that line of code. Another way Kestrel can be used is in combination with a reverse proxy server such as IIS, Nginx or Apache. Notice in this model of hosting, Kestrel is not facing the internet. Between the internet and Kestrel server, we have a reverse proxy server such as IIS, Nginx or Apache. It is this reverse proxy server that takes the incoming HTTP request and forwards it to the Kestrel server that's hosting and running our ASP.NET application. Now, once the Kestrel server processes the request, it sends that response back to the reverse proxy server. And this reverse proxy server in turn sends that response to the client who made that request. At this point, 
You might be wondering, well, if Kestrel can be used by itself as a web server, then why do we need this reverse proxy server between the client and our internal web server Kestrel? Well, that's because a reverse proxy server such as IIS provides an additional layer of configuration and security. It might integrate better with our existing infrastructure. It can also be used for load balancing. We'll discuss deploying our ASP.NET Core application to IAS and using IAS as a reverse proxy server in our upcoming videos. When we run an ASP.NET Core application directly from Visual Studio, by default, it uses IAS Express. So at the moment, IAS Express is acting as a reverse proxy server. Our application is still running at the command line. So let's shut this down by pressing Ctrl C. Now let's run our ASP.NET Core project directly from Visual Studio by pressing Ctrl F5. The output should not be anything different. The process name should still be .NET because at the moment IS Express is only acting as a reverse proxy. It is a Kestrel server that is still hosting and running our ASP.NET Core application. So the process name is .NET. Now another important point to keep in mind is when we run our ASP.NET Core project using the .NET Core CLI, the hosting setting that we have specified in our project file is ignored, irrespective of the value that we have here in process are out of process by default. When we run this ASP.NET Core project using the .NET Core CLI, it's going to use out of process hosting because it's the Kestrel server that's hosting and running our ASP.NET Core application if we are running our project using the .NET Core CLI. Let's actually prove this. First, let's change the hosting model setting to in process. Save our changes and then run our project using the .NET Core CLI. Launch another browser tab and navigate to localhost 5000. Notice the process name is still .NET and not IS Express. This proves we are using out of process hosting and not in process hosting. Now let's quickly compare in process and out of process hosting. With in process hosting, the process name that is used to host and run our ASP.NET Core application is w3wp.exe in case of IIS and in case of IIS Express, it is isexpress.exe. With out of process hosting, the process name is .NET.exe. Within process hosting, there's only one web server, whereas with out of process hosting, we got two web servers, an internal web server and an external web server. Internal web server is the Kestrel server and the external web server is the reverse proxy server and it can be IIS, Nginx or Apache. Finally, from a performance standpoint, in process hosting delivers significantly higher throughput than out of process hosting. With out of process hosting, we also have the penalty of proxying requests between internal and external web server. Now, one common question that I keep getting is, can we run an ASP.NET Core application without using the built-in Kestrel web server? The answer is yes. If we use the in-process hosting model, the application is hosted inside of the IAS worker process that is w3wp.exe. So Kestrel is not used with in-process hosting model. So yes, it's absolutely possible to run an ASP.NET Core application without using the built-in Kestrel web server. That's it in this video. Thank you for watching.